Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, founder of Policy Pack Software and Group Policy MVP, and I want to show you in this video how you can use uh, Policy Pack and Group Policy to deliver settings to any Microsoft AppV virtualized application. So let's go ahead and run uh, this first one. This is WinZip. You can see it's launching WinZip for the first time coming down from the server. Uh, and what you'll notice uh, if you consider what users see, they go to options configuration, and there's a lot of stuff for users to get wrong here. And you might have a situation where you want to deliver the settings uh, separately for one OU versus another OU. And we're, we can talk about any kind of application. And of course, this setting uh, this application stores its uh, things in the in the virtual registry. Let's go ahead and look at another application, which would be Firefox. If you run Firefox, you can see it's launching Firefox from the server, coming on down from the AppV streaming server, and it will launch. And the thing about this application is that just to make things difficult, Firefox doesn't store its items in the registry. No, no, it stores its stuff in uh, the file system, in a very strange place in the file system, no less. So what we want to try to do is to see if we can use uh, application virtualization plus policy pack to deliver settings to these applications. So to do this, to get started here, we're going to go over to this other machine, which is acting in multiple capacities. One of the things that it's doing is it, it has our policy pack creation station utilities on it called the policy pack design studio. So we'll go ahead and click start and fire up the policy pack design studio utilities. We can see the group policy management console here in the background. We'll get to that in a moment. And on the download uh, for policy pack, what we'll see is uh, a bunch of our pre-configured policy packs. Now, policy pack can either be used with a pre-configured policy pack, or you can design your own with the policy pack design studio. So to get started here, what we're going to do is we're just going to take over the, uh, the Firefox pack, and I'll just copy that XML file here. And I'll also take over the uh, WinZip pack, which I've got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a project from XML. And again, these are pre-configured packs. You could start a new project if you want to, but we're just going to load a new project from XML, load a project from XML here. We'll go ahead and click on WinZip first. Now, when WinZip comes up in the Policy Pack Design Studio, it's already pre-built from uh, our company, ready to rock. Uh, but the one thing we don't know is what the AppV application GUID is, because when you repackaged your version of WinZip and somebody else repackaged their version of WinZip, it's going to have a different AppV GUID. Now on my server here in the ccolm backslash SG content directory, I have a bunch of virtualized applications and I can see I've got uh, WinZip and Firefox and a bunch of other things here. Well, with Policy Pack Design Studio, we make this super easy. Like I said, we've already pre-configured this pack for all the knowledge we need. But we click on the project properties here and we can see the Microsoft AppV compatibility fly out. We'll go ahead and click on the GUIDs, and we can either add a GUID manually or from an OSD file. So all we're going to do is bang in SG content here, the SG content directory, and we can see we've got WinZip 14, Firefox, and a couple other applications there. So I'll click on WinZip 14 here. Boom, it jams in the GUID, and this is a virtual, a registry virtualized application, so we're going to be able to punch in all these items right into the virtual registry. Um, no changes are required on the AppV package. All we're going to do is uh, take our package and, or take our policy pack rather, and save it and compile it, and we'll use it in just a moment. And we're going to do the same thing uh, for also Firefox, because the idea is again, uh, somebody uh, in company A might have. Uh, might have created the AppV package, um, and it has one GUID, and another person might have a different one. So let's go to desktop here. We'll click on Firefox. There's our Firefox pack, and again, it's pre-configured, ready to rock right out of our uh, company here. So we'll click on uh, Project Properties. Um, oh, I have a GUID in there already, but I'll show you uh, how we do this. I'll go ahead and delete an existing GUID just for fun. We'll get rid of this guy here. And now what I'll do is I'll click on the same thing, dot, 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 and I will add one from an OSD file here, pick SG content, and there is uh, my Firefox application, and it jams in the correct GUID there. And that's it. So I'll go to uh, compile, and I'll save this PXML and compile. And again, this is preparing it for use inside of group policy. All right, now all we're going to do is to create a brand new group policy object here. We can call this group policy object uh, configure WinZip and Firefox. Uh, two separate things, but we can do that in the same policy pack if we want to. We'll go ahead and click edit here. 
And this is hooking right into the group policy infrastructure. So we'll go to New, Application, and we'll do WinZip first. And in WinZip, we'll go ahead and we'll deliver some password settings. We'll go ahead and check all these guys here. We'll jam this guy up to 11. But, you know, we're going to go an extra mile here. We know that it's in the virtual registry, but we can also, on the fly, make sure users can't manipulate the settings. So we'll disable the corresponding control in the target application. We're literally going to gray it out. We'll also gray it out here and we'll also hide this last one just for fun. And for cameras, we'll right click over cameras and we'll also disable the whole tab in the target application. So we're actually manipulating that guy on the fly. Well, while I'm here, I'll go to new application and we'll pick uh, Mozilla Firefox here. And what we'll do is we will uh, make our homepage www.test1.com and we'll do something we didn't do earlier. We can right click over this and revert the policy setting to the default value when it's no longer applied. So when you get the GPO, you get test one. When you lose the GPO, it reverts back to the default behavior. And while we're here as well, we can uh, uh, maybe uh, uncheck enable JavaScript, or let's go ahead and uncheck all these three content items just for fun. And we'll click OK. And that's it. So we're delivering settings to both a virtualized registry-based application and a file-based application. So logged in as the correct user here. Let's go ahead and run GP update. We could also log off and log back on if we were so inclined. And as soon as this is done, we have locked and loaded everything we need. We'll start out by running WinZip here. And again, this uh, application is being launched from the uh, AppV server. So we'll go ahead and click Options Config here, click on Passwords. And sure enough, it's dictated the settings directly into the virtual registry. And we can see here we've also manipulated the application so it can't be changed. Uh, we can't manipulate, we can't change that as a user. And also uh, we've eliminated that tab from being checked upon. Uh, and what's more, if the user unchecks these checkboxes and goes to rerun the application, uh, just as soon as they rerun the application, we keep those settings permanent. So if they do figure out a way to work around those settings or you decided not to configure them, the next time the application runs, we jam those settings directly back in. Let's go ahead and check out Firefox since we're here. Uh, we'll go ahead and run Mozilla Firefox here. And if all went well, we see that we get the www.test1.com as we expected. And even if a user decides they want to go in here, change this to uh, test5.com or something that they shouldn't really be doing, again, the very next time that they try to uh, run Firefox, what's going to happen? We're going to um, ensure that the settings that we set using Policy Pack are back for the user. Okay, one last thing, let's go ahead and make this policy fall out of scope. We'll go ahead and delete this GPO, which means that none of the users in the OU will get affected anymore. So let's go ahead and run GP update again on this machine. And what do we expect to happen? Well, the settings that we said to revert will revert back. The settings that we said to leave uh, alone will be left alone. And uh, all the app lock stuff, all those uh, lockout functions that we have will be uh, removed from the client machine. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and run WinZip first. Go to Options Config here, and sure enough, we've got all the lockout stuff uh, removed. We didn't tell it to revert the settings back, but it absolutely would. Policy Pack uh, has a superpower to revert the setting to the default value when it's no longer applied. Let's go ahead and check that out in Firefox. And sure enough, if you go to Tools Options here, you'll see that it got delivered back to About Blank, which is the absolute default that Firefox has. So the key takeaway, with regards to Policy Pack and AppV, is you get to sequence your application one time and then change the settings to various OUs on the fly. We'll deliver the settings, lock out the application's UI so users can't possibly work around it, and even if they do, we replace those settings back the very next time that the application is run. So I hope that gives you uh, a lot of insight. Uh, a lot of folks love the idea of being able to tap into both the virtual registry and the virtual file system on the fly using technology they already have, which is the group policy infrastructure. So thank you very much for watching and looking forward to seeing you test out PolicyPack software. Thanks so much.